Hello Glamour Ghouls and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Midge Munster and on this channel we do all things campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. So as you can probably tell, since we're in the car, we are on for another day of Halloween decor hunting. I have not been out in a couple of weeks. It's been a, a little bit since I've popped around. I just, I got a little burnt out of seeing the same things or nothing at every single store. Um, and I was just like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break. I'm not gonna miss anything. Like I know that things are happening later this year and I just needed to like, let myself be okay with that and wait for stuff to start coming out so that I can like get everything at once. Like Normally in previous years, I've done one video where we walk through at home and one video where we walk through Michael's. Like it's been very weird this last two years where it's like we go multiple times and we never really see it fully stocked until like almost October. <laughs> but I took a little breather from hunting. I've recharged. I feel like there comes a time every year where I break out the monster tiki dress and that's how you know that it is a bajillion degrees in Missouri. <laughs> we are under an excessive heat warning right now. It is very hot, but, uh, and that's the other thing. This is always the time of year that it starts to get really like hard to Halloween decor hunt because you don't want to be out popping in and out of stores. Like it's just so humid and disgusting. <laughs> but I'm going to brave it. I'm going to brave it for you so that we can uh, go see what is out there. So I've got a little route planned today that we kind of, I went out to the furthest spot from my house on my list and we're just going to work our way back home. And I think for me, that's going to mean today that we hit Michael's. Then we're going to loop back down this road. We're going to do Joanne. We're going to do Target Dollar Spot, Ross and Kohl's. And then I'll probably end at Menards because I know they're pretty stocked. So that's going to be our little loop today. Hopefully we see some good stuff. I know Michael's is real hit and miss. Some people are seeing Michael's stuff out. Some are not. I have not been into a Michael's for probably ooh, what, uh, three, four weeks. Um, last time we went was when I saw the wreath decor that they had put out, which I think was July. And uh, today is August 23rd, 20, no, it's August 25th. It's Tim Burton's birthday, yay! <laughs> so it's August 25th. We're, we're almost into September, which is really when things are gonna start picking up. That being said, if you are not already a member of my Patreon, please do consider subscribing. I have three different tiers, but the $10 a month tier, the Glamour Ghoul Gang, does get you early access to these hunting videos before they go up to the public. So this will be going out to Patreon tonight. I will finish filming and I will get it out on Patreon this evening. Um, and then the rest of y'all won't see it for like another week still. So definitely consider maybe joining that in the next, you know, couple months as we get these decor hunts. I think it's really a, a nice little perk to get early access and see what is out there. As always, that is in my description box. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's go into Michael's and hopefully we will see some stuff. I need to get my mask. All right, let's go. I see orange. Oh my gosh, they're literally stocking it right now. <laughs> How funny is this? <laughs> house is really, really cool. The tattoo parlor is so cute. <laughs> I love that. Oh, 
All right, so the aisles here in Michael's definitely not fully stocked yet, but um, this footage is actually from the next day. I did go back after the workers were done stocking. I felt bad being in their way, so I came back the next day and uh, got footage of everything they had put out. We're seeing a lot more of this kind of pastel goth line this year. And I can't say I'm surprised that pink line that they did last year was so popular. And I mean, I will say, I think as a general rule, I'm pretty, I just, I'm a fan of non-traditional Halloween decor or holiday decor in general. I like to see something different. And what Michaels is doing this year is definitely not your typical Halloween line. So I, I was excited about that. Some of these pillows are really, really cool. I think the folks who do like dark decor or kind of, you know, elder goth <laughs> decor um, are going to be really, really excited about a lot of what's going on here this year. These pillows and things or like this beautiful planchette sign. Um, those type of things, I think, are things you could keep out year round in a home that decorates like that. And they would be really, really beautiful. We had quite a bit of signage. Some of these things I've seen before, like they've had this skeleton x-ray thing for the last couple of years, but a lot of this was new to me. Like I've never seen this kind of jewel tone witch line. Uh, it was very new this year. And I, I actually really like this color palette for Halloween. It's something very different. And I think we're seeing a lot of influence from the kind of cottage core movement. Oh. I know so many of you are going to freak out about this canvas. It's really, really beautiful and it's supposed to light up. Unfortunately, it, the button on it wasn't. I couldn't get it to work, but isn't that pretty? But yeah, the, the cottage core movement and the kind of, I think, the um, more, what's the word I'm looking for? Like popularization of witchcraft in millennial and Gen Z cultures. Like, I think we're really seeing an influence of that in our Halloween decor this year and that's really cool. See like that snake print, like things like that I think you could use year round in your home and it would be really cool. Some really nice florals, signage uh, here to the left. I think I pan over it. You see like that coffin shelf with animal print. I'm seeing a lot of animal print in this decor, which was interesting. Um, kind of, I think that mix of nature and the macabre is kind of what they're, they're going for. Oh, that welcome Ouija sign was really cool. I liked that a lot. Spooky, scary, beautiful. <laughs> Oh, I liked these potion jars. It says like toadstool and I, I've never been a big fan of like the apothecary jars that say like vampire fang, <laughs> like things that you wouldn't actually have in a in an apothecary cabinet. Lots of snake imagery this year. So if you're into like snake looks, I think, oh, this was one thing. The one thing I saw that I thought was like, I really, I have to have that, <laughs> are these glass coffin boxes. I thought those were super cool. And then on this side, we had uh, totally different vibes. We had the traditional orange and black. However, it's not the vintage line that we normally see from Michaels. It's more of this country cutesy, farmhousey. I feel like we don't really ever hardly see farmhouse um, from Michaels, and they are definitely definitely go in that direction this year. I did think the these pillows were cute. The cat and then this one that says spooky and the pumpkin. The one thing, my one complaint with the spooky one is that because of the rope and the stripes, it looked almost like nautical to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, see we've got like a, a boo sign with buffalo check ribbon and um, I pull out the sign here in a minute that has like a buffalo check ribbon as well. Witch's Kitchen. But I did, um, I think uh, this is a lot more, it's the traditional color scheme, but it's something different than I've seen from Michaels before. It's definitely more on trend, I guess is what I mean to say. I think this is the sign. 
yeah see it's got the plaid ribbon or like this is very like cutesy to me I mean I like it but it's just you know it's very much that farmhouse like black and white and very clean looking a little countdown calendar oh this next sign I actually liked quite a lot it says like witches in or something the wicked witch in <laughs> come in for a spell I like the graphic of that it's really I love a circular sign I always think that looks nice but yeah this mix with the you know twine and the natural wood tones um, and the, just the the cursive fonts like this is a, an aesthetic we've been seeing from home goods and um, a lot of the like home stores like Lowe's and places for the last I would say the last two or three years we've seen a lot of this so I was interested to see it at Michael's I like these potion bottles those were fun toxic pumpkin tonic <laughs> Also, definitely a trend this year are these campers. Seeing a lot of the little camper pieces. And then they just had a few bits and baubles. Um, oh, this black cat sign is really cool. Not my style per se, but I thought it was really neat. Oh, and they had some Nordic wear. I was interested to see that, but these pans were really shallow. I'm not sure what you would make in those. Um... And then they just had, you know, the fall things, the harvest things, lots of these different cool, different shaped pumpkins and things. Overall, good selection. And, uh, oh, and on the end cap, I found the Halloween trees. Okay, so I timed that both perfectly and also not well at all at the same time because as I walked in there, they were literally stocking the shelves as I walked in and Oh, uh, I, I, I'm really excited because that means maybe even later today, I mean, it's like noon right now. So maybe even later today, it will be fully stocked. Um, definitely probably tomorrow will be fully stocked or, you know, everything they have will be out. Um, and I wanted to get like footage of everything right then and there, but I also didn't want to be in the way of the women who were trying to work. So I got as much as I could. But y'all, there's a lot of really cool stuff. Um, I was really excited to see all this really pretty witchy stuff and um, pastel, like a lot of pastel goth, if that's your vibe, like a lot of these really pretty skeletons and florals and light pinks and jewel tones, just lots of really cool, different Halloween decor. I also saw a couple little bundles of fall floral that was really really pretty um some like thistly pieces that were really nice again jewel tone colors there's some really cool signage there was an apothecary sign that i really want i didn't grab anything just yet because i want to see what all they have before i start like just going crazy and buying things I also really need to continue my process of kind of figuring out what I have in my decor already because I think we've talked about this a little bit, but I bought so much last year that I've kind of forgotten what all I have. And I'm switching up my themes just a little bit this year, so I don't want to like get a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to have a place for. But anyway, that was very exciting. And even just that little snippet to like see them stocking, it was so exciting. And I got to see some of the Lamax Spooky Town, which I hadn't seen this year. And I've got some really, really cute new pieces. The tattoo shop was probably my favorite piece, as well as just this little standalone, like witches driving a car, like a Chevy, like a classic Chevy <laughs> was very, very cute. Anyway, that made me happy. That was a nice, like, like I said, even though it wasn't stocked, it was kind of cool to like be watching them put everything out and knowing that I haven't missed anything. I think that was what was cool is like knowing because they're literally putting it out right now that when I see it, it's going to be everything for the first time. I am gonna let them do their thing. I'm gonna go ahead and go on to my next stop. Um, which is going to be Joanne. And I actually have been to Joanne once. I went, again, probably a week and a half or more ago. Um, and they did have some stuff out. However, it was very poorly stocked at that point. And it was like almost not fun because it was literally like this weird, like it wasn't well organized. There was just stuff everywhere. I couldn't really like see the vision of the collections at all because it was just very like bleh. 
So I'm really, really hoping that that has changed. Um, I am desperately, desperately looking for these cookie jars from Joanne. So I really hope that I'm not too late. Um, but when I was there last, I spoke to a woman because people see how I dress and they ask me about what's going on. <laughs> anyway, uh, she told me that they had not received everything yet. So I know at that point at least that I hadn't missed the cookie jars, like everything they had in stock was on the floor. So we'll head that way and take a look at hopefully what they've got in stock. This is a very good sign. Oh, cute. So unfortunately, Joanne still did not have a ton of things out. As you can even see here, like it was very uh, thin, you know, there's just a few things on each shelf. Um, they do, of course, as usual, have their 30% off going on their Halloween decor. I found a couple of these cute rugs. Um, I really do love the jack-o'-lantern artwork they've used this year for this line. I think it's really cute. They had uh, trees, kind of like the ones that at home, except black, but they were $60, which the ones that at home, I believe, are $50. These were even more expensive and smaller. <laughs> I cannot seem to find a, a good Halloween tree this year that isn't really expensive. But yeah, anyway, as you can see, uh, they did have stuff out at Joanne. Lots of signage and pillows, mostly, that uh, I saw. But, I mean, the shelves just really aren't stocked. Everything's kind of laying around and kind of tucked behind each other. I had to really, like, rustle through things to see everything. It just, uh, it's definitely either not fully stocked or it's been wiped out, and I can't tell which it is. Home Sweet Haunted Home is a, uh, definitely a theme this year. I'm seeing a lot more signage that says that. I did like these three little jack-o'-lanterns. That was cute. But uh, I don't know. I think overall this year my, my complaint, I guess, <laughs> is that everything's leaning towards this very clean, you know, not busy look, which there's nothing wrong with that at all. But I think the problem being that because everything is leading that way, it just is, it looks a little boring to me. Nothing is jumping out at me as being like super unique or interesting. I did really like, this is a little raven plate. And I thought this was cool, but it was $15 for one tiny plate. Um, granted, of course, you know, that is like the 30 or 40% off, but still... I did like some of these little dish towels, especially that current mood <laughs> pumpkin one. Um, but like here you can see too, there, there's shelves. I don't know if they've been wiped out or if they haven't received their stuff yet. I just, uh, I feel a little like disoriented walking into a Joanne right now. I'm not sure what's happening. This I thought was fun. It's like a popsicle maker, but they look like zombies. <laughs> I thought that was, I've never seen anything like that. That was unique. And of course, um, per usual, they've got their little cooking utensils, which I always think are super cute. Um, especially if you're spooky year round, this is a great time to get some stuff for your kitchen that you can use. These silicone molds, uh, I'm sure if you're a, a better baker or you know, candy maker than I am. You could think of some really cool ways to use this. Oh, this made me mad. That would have really come in handy at spring Halloween. <laughs> if you remember, yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and this was actually the thing I thought was cool is for some of these candles, these, this skull candle is beautiful. So were those jack-o'-lantern ones. Um, and they had a bunch of these flameless LED candles, which are always really nice. I liked that they had several options in these as well, especially this little silhouette one with the witch and the haunted house. I thought that was super duper cute. Oh, Joanne. 
so Joanne still didn't really have a lot. I mean, honestly, it looked pretty much the same as it did the last time I was there. And their, I don't know, their line was like the one I'm most excited about. And then when I'm seeing it in person, it's just not like speaking to me the same way. I don't know. And like I said, I think maybe it's because everything's kind of like scattered and there's no like, I sound like, I feel like I sound really like snotty saying that, like there's no story. <laughs> but you know, like when you see a line really well stocked and you can tell the story that that line is telling, like I feel like that's getting lost in translation because everything's just kind of all over the place. Maybe I need to go out to Overland Park and try there, Joanne, because it's usually a, like a little bit earlier and usually a little better stocked than mine. I did not see those cookie jars. I did see a spot that looked like it was where they should be or had been. So I don't know if they're already gone. Uh, I don't know. I'm just feeling sad about Joanne. Like I really, I was really, really excited about that line and I feel like I'm not gonna ever actually get to see it in person. But who knows, Dark and Deco came out super late last year. So I don't know. I know I want the small and the large jack-o'-lantern cookie jar. And then there's like a black and white striped jack-o'-lantern that I want. I'm gonna try to pop pictures of these things here as I'm talking about them. And then I think there's also a ghost cookie jar, which I think I might want, I don't know. My intention is to get these little cookie jars and like keep my stuff for my coffee bar in them, like my Nespresso pods and sugar, like that kind of stuff, have like a little set up with those. But we won't get to do it if we don't find the cookie jars. And they're sold out online, I've already checked. So for those of you who are gonna be like, they're online, not anymore, they're not. And I should have just ordered them. But I'm really weird about ordering things online when I haven't seen them. I wanna like see and hold the object and connect with it and make sure it's something I wanna bring into my home. I don't know. Anyway, that was a little bit of a dip in the day. They did have stuff, they did. Um, honestly, I think the thing I thought was the coolest were they had some really cool, uh, pillar candles, like some really cool kind of embossed jack-o'-lantern candles and spiderweb candles and some really cool like flameless LED candles. That was cool. And they do have like a couple cute pillows and things. I don't know. I just, uh, I want to be wowed by somebody this year. I haven't been wowed by anyone yet. Most, I feel like all I'm seeing right now is like I go to Home Goods and it's just Ray Dunn. I'm like, I'm, show me something interesting, please. <laughs> Nothing against Ray Dunn. You guys know I bought my first Ray Dunn piece this year. Like, it's just, it's the same thing. I've seen it a hundred times. Like, I want to see something different and interesting. That's all I want. Okay, I'm done being a negative Nancy. So I've got this little strip here. We've got Coles, Ross, and Target. So I'm going to pop just down the line. And I think I've seen a couple cute things coming out of Coles this year that I might be might be interested in talking talking to. Uh, Ross is usually really cool if you hit it just right. Uh, I've been able to find some really great like Joanna Parker seconds and stuff there so that would be cool today if we found something like that. And then Target, I'm not super hopeful that Dollar Spock, Dollar Spock, <laughs> that the Dollar Spot is going to be stocked yet um, but can't hurt to check this is around when they start trickling stuff into the bullseyes playground. So let's get going and hopefully I see something amazing. So we started in Kohl's, <laughs> had to get a little fit check there first. Uh, at first all I saw was this little like party end cap. I thought this witch ring toss hat game was so funny. <laughs> um, but then I, I did end up finding a, a small end cap of decorations. They had this lantern with a candle in it and this potion bottle, uh, very much like those wine bottles and things we saw at Cracker Barrel where the glitter spins around. And uh, the one thing that I was kind of shocked by were the prices here. I mean, this was $50, which seemed really steep to me. Um, oh, this was something I was excited to see, this little ghost car. I saw this on Instagram from my friend Miranda, Spooky Little Halloween, and 
I, I mean, you know, you guys, if you've been watching for a while, you know, like, I have a Cadillac Santa for Christmas, and I love anything like that where they're in, like, a little vintage car. So they have that boo sign and just, you know, a few things here and there. These garlands, I think, are actually from last year. I remember looking at them last season. And same with these succulents, I remember these. So I'm not sure if maybe right now they're putting out a couple things that they've had in the past. Here's a little wreath. And then they had in another section these towels. I did really think this, uh, I'm not usually a black cat decor person, but I liked that towel a lot. I thought that was super fun and kind of retro. And then this was a pillow I was excited to see. I've been seeing it a lot online. But my, I didn't really love the buffalo check on the back. It kind of, again, makes it more farmhousey, which is not my decor that I, I do at home. They had a, a few different little pillows here. Another home sweet haunted home. And that was all Coles had, really. So we headed down to Ross, and I was shocked to see the Halloween, like, right inside the door here. They again, either don't have a lot or have been really picked over. So uh, just a few pillows and some like table top type decor. There was like a, an old fashioned radio, like or uh, old fashioned looking radio. And some different lanterns and things. And they did have quite a bit of Day of the Dead stuff as well. They had this little candelabra and several pillows signage out of candy or trick-or-treat depending on which side you have it on <laughs> this skull I've seen at at home this year I think it's part of their dark decadence line maybe if I remember correctly singular potion bottle <laughs> again more pillows and uh, yeah here's that radio and I think they usually have these at big lots it's got like a, a face in it that sways back and forth and lights up. And they had this little like advent calendar pillow. This bowl was actually plastic. It looks like metal, but it, it was really lightweight. And some more Day of the Dead merchandise. This was the one thing I thought was kind of cool, was this little raven atop pumpkins, which, I mean, you know. <laughs> and they had one of these uh, sets of books that moves around on its own. Again, I think Big Lots had those last year. Actually almost got this Stay Spooky sign for my studio. They were kind of like hammered leather onto a wood block, but I thought I didn't need it. <laughs> They had this tray also with the snake handles, like that plastic bowl, but this was metal. And uh, yeah, that was really about it. <laughs> so I headed over to Target Dollar Spot. This is the Target footage. They had some, a couple things out, which I was excited. I really didn't think I'd find anything today. So that was kind of exciting to see things. Uh, some tea towels. They had a more fall decor out. Like they had all these different pumpkins. Um, a couple potion bottles, these orange cloches, which I'm sure you could do some kind of cool DIY with and even paint them if you didn't like that orange. And these little chalkboard signs. And yay, a $5 spooky tree. I was so excited to see something not uh, $50. Uh, and it was nice to see one that wasn't covered in glitter as well. Okay, so let's recap. So I started it at Kohl's and they had a few things. I will say I feel like everything they had was really overpriced. Um, it was 30% off, so that made it a little more bearable, but a couple of things that I thought were cool, like they had this um, light up potion bottle that said, you are magic or something like that, that lit up and did like glitter. And I was like, sixty dollars <laughs> I was like for what I I just thought that was really crazy they did have a really nice boo light up sign that I liked better than the marquee one from Joanne just because it was like heavy it was sturdy wood and it had kind of like a, a rope light 
situation in the letters rather than like bulbs. That was kind of cool. I was really interested to see that little ghost car, the blue ghost car, and I ended up not liking it in person as much as I thought I would, so I didn't get that, but it was really cute, and I love that it had a little dog on the back. Made a couple pillows and things, but overall, not a ton at Kohl's. Then I popped into Target, and I was pleasantly surprised to see that their dollar spot was getting some things in. Uh, there was like an orange cloche and some chalkboard, like cauldron and a bat and a pumpkin. There were some spooky trees, little $5 spooky trees, and I liked these ones because they didn't have glitter on the branches, which I feel like the last couple of years they've had glitter. There was glitter like in the pot, but it wasn't all over the tree, so I feel like it wouldn't shed super bad. The branches were like velvety. There was a really cute towel set with like a little ghost that said, hey boo. It was like pink and it had another towel with it that was pink with like ghosts all over it. I did kind of think those were cute. And there were some different like velvet pumpkins in more jewel tones and more, hello? Oh my God, guys, I thought my car was getting hit. Oh! There definitely wasn't a ton in Dollar Spot yet, but it was nice to see something. Like, it's coming, which made me feel like, okay, <laughs> okay, things are starting to happen. Then I popped into Ross. They had their Halloween stuff right when you walk in the door. I was kind of surprised that it was, like, right there. And they had three little columns of stuff. Nothing that I would say I was, like, interested in. The couple of things that I did think were kind of cool, there was a black kind of hammered-looking bowl with like snake handles and then a silver tray with snake handles. I don't really do snake decor at all, but if that's something you like, I thought those were really cool. Um, and they were pretty like inexpensive, especially the, the silver tray for being like, it was actually metal. And so I thought, I think it was like $7.99. I didn't think that was a bad price at all. But overall, again, just, I feel like that kid in The Incredibles <laughs> when He's like sitting on his little trike at the end of the driveway and Mr. Credible's like, what are you waiting for? And he's like, I don't know, something amazing, I guess. Or like, what? A <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I feel like all the stores are like, what do you want? And I'm like, just show me something cool. Anyway, that is it for this little strip here. So uh, I'm going to finish up today at Menards, which if you don't have Menards where you're from, it is like a... Uh, like a Home Depot or a Lowe's. It's like an outdoor home improvement type store. But they have a lot of like farming equipment and things like that. Tractor supply. Um, but they usually have really excellent Halloween stock. And uh, I know for a fact, because one of my friends has been there, that they do have things out. So I feel like that's a good place to end the day to like go somewhere we know has some stuff. So I'm going to head that way. We'll see what they have and then we will we'll wrap up for today. Oh, yeah. All right. So Menards. They always have a pretty good selection of inflatables, and uh, obviously these weren't all out yet. Oh, <laughs> spooky flamingos! That's uh, that's Palm Springs spooky if I ever did see it. Um, but yeah, obviously they didn't have all their inflatables out yet or their animatronics, but they did have a pretty good little selection of stuff. Um, mostly tabletop decor, like these, you know, different succulents and the the little trucks with pumpkins and uh, different kind of statues. These little skeleton guys were pretty cute. I did like this camper a lot too. I thought that was really neat. I liked the, I liked that it was all metal. I've been seeing so many of the campers this year where they look like wood or like, like these are like plaster. Like, I always think it's odd when they make campers not look metal because inherently they are going to be metal. <laughs> um, oh, there's my haunted house from last year. If you remember, we bought that guy. They have these trees and some spooky vintage. We love to see that. I thought this was funny. They had these uh, hands, which previously ha Target has had these the last like, pff, what, five years, but I've never seen them anywhere else almost got this succulent for my studio. Look how cute that is. More just kind of skulls and uh, 
I think these, I don't know if these were meant to be part of like the spooky town, but they definitely could be. This was really unique. It was like a blender with bugs in it and it, it didn't work. Unfortunately, the button was broken, but I'm assuming it kind of like slaps the bugs around. <laughs> Thought, you know, if you did like a specific type of Halloween and you did like a spooky kitchen, that would be a really unique, cool piece. And then I do always love that Menards has, uh, they sell the Lamax Spooky Town as well, as you can see here. And they really put it all out like on a, a flat surface here and you can get in and really look at everything. So that was nice because like, uh, as you saw earlier, Michaels didn't have these pieces displayed anywhere. They usually do, um, but this, uh, I was able to actually get in and look at all of these pieces, which was really nice. I love this little greenhouse. I don't do Spooky Town, um, but I would buy that <laughs> just because I thought it was really, really cool. Um, and then this, I thought this cider place was really cute too. I think that's new this year. If you are a Lamax Spooky Town collector, I would love to hear what your favorite piece is that you have because I've always found them really cool and beautiful. I just don't, I don't really have room, honestly, to display these, so I've never gotten into it. I feel like it's once one of those things that once you start collecting them, you're going to be, it's going to be a situation. <laughs> I did get the graveyard last year. That was my first piece. Oh, I thought this was goulash. My family always makes goulash on Halloween, so I thought that was really funny. And this was really funny. It's a pet cemetery adopt a pet. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Okay, ghoulie ghouls. So Menards had about what I would say probably was like a quarter of what they normally have in uh, on the floor currently. They had all of their Lamax. They also carry the spooky town. And so they had all of that on display. I always like that they have it out and you can like see the pieces. I know Michael says that too, but it's always on like an elevated thing. I love that this is like on a level shelf where you can really get in and look at the pieces. And then they had just a bunch of different small decor, a lot of things that were more farmhousey, um, which, you know, is kind of more their clientele because it's more of a, a farm supply store. That's just, you know, not really my aesthetic, but they had some cute stuff, some little like galvanized kind of tin, um, oh, I gotta turn some air on. Uh, they look like little candies, like twist candies, but they were jack-o'-lanterns. They had a really cute metal camper that I thought, I think that was probably my thing from there that I was like, that's really cute. Uh, I thought it was cuter than the one from At Home, actually. I liked the style of it a little bit better. I did get one thing from Menards. I bet at this point, having already seen the footage, you already know what it is. I did get the little pumpkin clown guy holding the owl, little retro vintage. I mean, you guys know, this is my weakness. Jack-o'-lanterns and owls. This is my whole thing. <laughs> um, he was like $9.99, so... I'm really happy with this. This will definitely fit in with many, many other things that I own. All right. So overall, a decent day of decor hunting. I feel like we saw a lot of things. Like we, there were, there are things in almost every store at this point that I'm hitting. So I feel like we're definitely in the like thick of it. <laughs> Into the thick of it. I'm very excited to continue decor hunting. But for today, that is going to be it. So thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you had fun. If you are new here and you feel like sticking around, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I do upload at least once a week, every Monday. Um, and I'm sure that will increase as we get closer to Halloween season. As a reminder, if you'd like early access to all decor hunting videos, you can join my Patreon. The link is in the description box. If you're in the $10 tier, you get early access to these videos. You get exclusive decor giveaways get all kinds of awesome perks but there's also a three dollar and a six dollar tier with different perks as well if you want to support this channel that means so much to me i just looked a moment ago and we are literally 14 subscribers away from hitting 20k so by the time you all are seeing this we will have 20,000 subscribers and wow i mean we literally had 10k 
one month ago. So the fact that this community is growing so much, I'm just so incredibly thankful. I love spending time with you all, chatting with you all. Please drop a comment, say hi, tell me what your favorite find is that you found out in the wild this year. I will look forward to seeing you again very soon. Until then, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye! Come out to socialize